Alrighty, alrighty. <laughs> so, <laughs> welcome to today. And we are at home stroke uh, recovery. So, I'm in recovery right now, uh, going through the motions. Uh, I did have some pretty intense um, physical, occupational, and speech therapy and encompass uh, health systems. Uh, part of Guy Singer there. Uh, and I'm at home now, and I'm going through the motions. I've been set up so far. I've talked to both physical and occupational therapy. I'm not going to be receiving any more speech therapy. So uh, what you see is what you get for right now. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get better, I think. So I'm going to continue to do the exercise uh, that uh, Tessa and Amy gave me. Uh, so uh, that should improve. Uh, you may not think I'm speaking very um, badly or uh, not real good or might be thinking I'm talking right. Uh, but for me, I know the difference and I can tell the difference as it gets later in the day. These muscles, I guess, get tired. Uh, so I got to do some more uh, push-ups with my tongue and my, my lips and cheeks. So, but physical therapy uh, is... Uh, here today. Uh, so they came a little while ago uh, and they gave me a list of exercises to do. And so I've got to do some um, raise up on toes, uh, some marching in place, alternating uh, knee bends, uh, back kicks, squats, and side kicks. Now they want me to do those about 10 times each. Uh, and try to do that several times a day, um, at least uh, 10 to 30 reps twice daily. So we're going to, uh, we started out with 10 to see how it worked, and it went really well. Um, so then uh, about every hour, I've got to do two laps around the house. So from, from the living room to the kitchen and back, at least twice every hour. And then... Um, also sit to stand so you know that's just basically holding your hands out and then standing up and then sitting back down and then standing up and sitting back down so we got to do that every hour and do that five times uh and if five times is too easy uh we're gonna do 10 all right so we want to do that every hour that we're up so right now um I was able to get in and out of the shower today, unattended, uh, able to do it. It was tricky because <laughs> I don't have to grab bars. Uh, but I just made sure I didn't uh, put myself in a position that I could fall. So I don't want to do that. All right. So let's get the day started. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. So I am going to run through these exercises, kind of show you what I'm doing. I'm uh, going to use the back of a chair. Now, you can do this, or they teach uh, holding on to a sturdy object, like uh, a corner of a countertop or uh, standing at the sink to do them. Uh, I think I'm going to use this chair uh, because we're out in the living room. All right, so let me adjust the camera. All right, so what we want to do is, uh, the first one is uh, raise up on toes. So we're going to just raise up on your toes. And we're going to do those 10 times. So we want to do those about 10 times. And like I said, we're going to do these uh, twice daily. So the second one is going to be march in place. So I want to alternate my legs as I march. Uh, so this is this is the good leg, and the stroke leg. Uh, now I want to try to watch my posture uh, for these. So it's getting off the ground. Uh, it'll get higher as we go. Uh, but I'm just going to continue to do those 10 times. Yeah, all right. So the next one is going to be knee bends. And that's 
bending at the knee. So that is the good leg. Uh, this is the leg. Um, and it's not about doing them fast. It's about doing them and concentrating on the muscle that bends. So I just And each one of these uh, we're doing 10 times. All right. Okay, now the next one is kickbacks. So I'm going to kick that leg back, bring it down, kick that leg back. And what I'm doing is I'm using this hip muscle um, or the, your lower back there. So I'm doing that kicking back. So that's kickbacks. All right. So we want to do the squats next. So make sure you're holding on. And then you want to come down. You don't have to go too low, but you want to not break the plane of your knee. Just go down as far as you can. And then, so I'm going to not use the chair. Because uh, I'm also doing this to work on balance, too. So I'm going to get good balance with that. But, you know, legs, shoulder width apart. And then doing a squat. And then up and down 10 times for those. And then the last one would be, uh, I'm not going to alternate these. Uh, the reason I was alternating before, when you do this one and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. Uh, it's to simulate walking, all right? But you don't walk kicking your leg out to the side. At least you shouldn't, <laughs> right? So so I'm going to do 10 per side. So this is the stroke leg. And I'm trying to control this leg kicking out, all right? So control, control, and then... Then I'm going to do 10 on this side. And I'm, I'm not, I'm intentionally not locking my knees out. Because I want to give a slight bend to the knee, back straight, head up. All right, so that will do it. Uh, we want to do those uh, 10 to 30 reps uh, daily, two times per day. So two times per day. Or, like I want to say, <laughs> 2.0 per day, <laughs> right? And if you want to do three, you can do three. I'll see how it goes. So, I'm also going to be doing um, the up and down. So, well, I'll show you those here in a second. Now, every hour, what I'm going to do is, uh, he said about doing five. So, I'm going to do five, but... If I can do 10, I'm going to do 10. It's every hour. So every hour that I'm up and I'm sitting and uh, doing uh, whatever I'm doing, I want to make sure I do these. And I don't want to skip them. You know, I don't want to miss one hour. And I want to be pretty regimented with it because I want to get back to doing the things I love to do as quick as possible, right? So I am going to uh, do 10. Okay. And I am, it says sit to stand, but if you can, uh, just like in a gym, you know, don't, don't let your backside hit the seat. Uh, go back up before it hits the seat. Okay. And uh, if you need to sit down, sit down. Uh, but if you can do it, the goal would be to do these without sitting, you know. Uh, but every once in a while, if you want to sit, lean back <laughs> And then go for it up and then sit back, lean. Oh, I get a little sit up in there because <laughs> I usually only do two sit ups a day one when I sit up out of bed, and one when I lay back down. Uh, sit up one, and I lay back down at night, and that's two. <laughs> so I do two sit ups every day. All right, so, uh, so I want to do that, and then I want to do laps at least uh, two laps from the living room to the kitchen and back every hour so i'm not going to use the cane 
But like you saw at Cabela's the other day, I picked up a set of trucking poles. Been meaning to get a pair. Uh, but the idea is I am going to, one, work on grip. So I'm gripping this. I'm, uh, I'm not squeezing it. I'm not, not, not hurting it. That's for sure. It'll be a little while till I get my squeezing down. But I want to try to alternate the arms while I walk to try to engage this side. So anytime that I'm uh, wiping something down with my non-stroke hand, which is my less dominant hand, and that's something I want to talk about here for one second. All right, so that's one thing I want to talk about real quick is... Uh, Something I'm finding that my my non-stroke hand, which is this one here, uh, when I'm doing things, I want to uh, make sure that my stroke hand is incorporated because like water, um, water will uh, go to the area of least resistance. So even though this right hand was always my dominant hand and my left hand is uh, my weaker hand, usually the one I don't use, I'm, my mind is using my left hand and almost forgetting about the right because there's less resistance to do things with my left hand than it is with my stroke hand. So consciously, I've got to bridge that uh, water and say, no, you got to use both. So when I'm wiping things down, I'm wiping them down with both hands. Uh, I'm putting both hands on it to, to try to get to incorporate this right or hand or the stroke hand or stroke side as much as possible all right alrighty well it's another day done so thanks a lot for coming along really enjoyed having you and remember it's just one adventure at a time and I will catch you tomorrow all right have a good one see ya